Hello and welcome back everybody. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia and in today's video I'm doing my lovely client Nicole. She has not seen me in the past three years. She actually came to me to get her hair pressed out and then we did a haircut which is actually on my channel so I will be sure to link that down below. But the last time we saw each other she actually cut all of her hair off and we did a cute bob at my hair salon. So she's coming back in today because she's getting married tomorrow um she's actually already a wifey now because this was recorded over the weekend and it's now the next week but congratulations to you nicole and shout out to you for always letting me record you like you're such a vibe and she's such a sweet person so i'm so happy for her i just love seeing her thrive and all of my clients just doing well so off camera i shampooed her hair i went ahead and did a shampoo a deep conditioning treatment under the dryer because for whatever reason my um, steamer decided to die on me so i just did the conditioner um, i put it in her hair and put her under the dryer for about 10 minutes to let her deep condition and then i just rinsed her out shampooed her and then i sprayed in a little bit of the um heat protectant what is it the redken um, thermal spray i will link that down below as well and um, you guys already know to make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Like, comment, and show some love. So what you see here is me just detangling Nicole's hair. It was already pre-detangled, but when I shampooed it, it still wanted to like tangle up slightly. So no biggie. You just want to make sure that it's not matted, which is the main thing. So I'm just taking her hair in sections and just detangling the ends. And then I'm going to section her hair off in subsections and then just blow dry those out. So again, I'll drop everything that I use down below, heat protecting and everything. You know that we're going to make sure that her hair is nice and healthy. And all we're doing today is a silk press. We're going to trim her ends. We're going to add some clip-ins just to add some length, which she provided. And then we're just going to curl the clip-ins. And then I did pin curl her. But honestly, this was my first day trying to use my new camera. So a lot of the footage I kind of cut out just because I didn't realize that the autofocus was all over the place. I don't know if it was like what I put the setting on on accident, but... It was a lot of like focus on my hair and like my elbow and my arm and stuff versus focusing on her and i wanted her to be the main focal point of the video so that's why you're going to see it's like kind of like all over the place with the edits in some spots but anyway thank you so much for bearing with me and just enjoy as i do her hair i decided to leave the detangle in in a regular speed or just slightly sped up just because um, a lot of times I feel like when you speed the video, people feel like they need to rush when they detangle hair. And that is not my intention. I do like to take my time with each and every client. And for this service, I booked out three hours. And it took me the full three hours just because we were talking, we were catching up. Um, we haven't seen each other in a while. She's getting ready to be married. So we were like, oh my goodness, like what's going on? Because the last time I saw her, I can't remember if she just got engaged or... I don't remember but i think she had just got engaged the last time i saw her so the fact that she's now getting married and she decided to come back to me um all the way from jersey to get her hair done like that's major love you guys know i'm located in delaware so a lot of my clients come from like delaware philly jersey maryland virginia like the surrounding states y'all really do like show out and show up for me and i really do appreciate that like it means the world to me for real especially the clients that show up and show up on time she got there early which i love because you guys know i like to come into work super early just to set up so that way when my client walks in i'm not all over the place trying to set up like pretty much you come in i'm ready to go everything is organized nice and clean i don't i can't function with a lot of chaos and clutter so just enjoy as i detangle her hair I'm gonna be using my spray bottle as well by Framar in my Framar clips just to saturate her hair and keep everything nice in section. But the main goal is just to detangle her, get her blown out as straight as possible. Then I'll go in with my round brush, do her roots, and then after that, I will press her out. So just enjoy this video. And again, thank you guys for watching.
this is what I was talking about here. You see how some points like her hair is super focused and then all of a sudden like the focus goes out and then it comes in and then it goes out and comes in. Again, this was my first day shooting with this camera. So I just was playing around with the settings. I didn't realize I could make it brighter. I didn't realize I could make it focus more. So that was just user error. But a lot of the footage was just like blurry and then it like got really clear. So I tried to cut out as much of the blurriness as possible again. This was my first day, y'all, and y'all know I like to record on my iPhone 13. Like, I'm real simple. Um, I hit 100K with just using my iPhone and my G7X sometimes, but my main 99.9% .9 of my videos are shot on my iPhone. But I decided, like, you know what? It's a new year. Let me get a new YouTube camera. I'm going to invest in some more lighting, and I really just want to bring you guys some really, really good content because I plan on shooting more videos in my house of me doing, like, mannequin tutorials, my daughter's. Um, story times things like that and I just want to bring you guys the best quality possible you've invested in me and in my channel so I felt like it was only right for me to do the same so I'm just taking her hair in sections I did spray some um, what was it I sprayed some influence s3 spray you do have to be licensed to get your hands on that so some alternatives are the Paul Mitchell super skinny the rusk um, argan oil the Fanola oil um, the crystal oil you can use the leaf and flower molecular oil you just want to make sure that you're putting in some type of heat protectant and we did go in and use this wow product that she saw on tiktok so i just sprayed that in prior to blow drying her and i'm going to insert that on the video at some point and at this point nicole was like you know what i'm feeling my hair and i was like girl your hair looks so bomb on camera like it's giving glass hair and this is unedited unfiltered that was the product i was talking about she said it was going viral on tiktok y'all know i'm like the old auntie now that i'm 30 so i get on tiktok every now and again if like my sister or my mom will send me something, I'll open up the app just to see what they're tagging me in. But I really don't post a lot on there. And when I do get on there every now and again, I'll pretty much just get on there and start like scrolling down into like an endless black hole. Like, so I just get on there and have fun. But her hair was super shiny, super healthy. And I told you guys, I do this with all of my clients, no cap. We were in here laughing, having a good time. But what I'm just doing here, there's a mirror behind us. So I just have her hold this smaller mirror and I'm just showing her like, hey, this is what I need to do. We're going to go ahead and trim this, that, and a third. And she was honestly perfect with that because she was like, she knows it's been a while. And I felt so honored. She did tell me that she pressed her hair a few times since she's left my salon, but she's done it herself. But she said the last time she got her hair professionally done was by me. So it's been three years and she came back to me to do her hair for her big day. And I felt so honored. So I really do love and appreciate my clients, guys. When you go above and beyond and you provide quality service, don't ever let somebody discourage you or try to tell you what to do or what to charge or what you're worth. As long as you know your worth, that's all that matters. And I had to like teach myself that over the course of the last 10 plus years of me doing hair, because of course, in the beginning, like you're not always that confident and you feel like, oh my God, like if I charge more, will I lose people? But honestly, you can't lose anything that's meant for you. And that is the word of today. So here I am. I'm just going in and trimming her ends. I try to get the best angles possible. But again, some of this footage was blurry. So I just went ahead and just added the parts in that weren't super blurry out of focus. But I'm just pulling her hair at a 90 degree angle. And I'm just taking off all of the dead ends before I put in her clip ins. Now, I will tell you guys that her clip ins prior to me putting them in, she did wash them and they like air dried or whatever. And they're like a natural curly texture. So I went ahead and just put them in as is and then i just pressed them out and then curled them so i just did that to give them like you know a nice sleek look so that way they're not like how do i describe it like bl not blurry oh my goodness frizzy okay you don't want to have a lot of texture we want it to blend with our natural hair as best as possible and as long as the clip-ins are clean that's all that matters you can always blow dry them out and i just had her hold them into place so that way i'm not like snagging or anything and then i'll just press out each section and then I'm gonna go in with my T3 curling iron and just curl the hair out. And again, I'll link that down below. That curling iron did cost a grip, I'm not gonna lie, but it's so worth the investment because the one that I have, you can change the barrels. So it's three different barrel sizes and you can um, pick like if you wanna do small curls, medium or big. So that in itself was worth it to me and the fact that they're pink and white and they're so nice. I really do love these irons and my husband got them for me for Mother's Day like a couple years ago and they are the best. Like I use these anytime I curl hair. I don't even have any other curling irons besides my Marcel's, but people don't really use Marcel's anymore. But if y'all wanna see a Marcel hair tutorial, maybe I'll just bring out the 90s vibes for y'all so y'all can learn how to use the Marcel irons, okay? So again, I'm just gonna curl her hair up. 
Um, I try to leave as much of this footage in as possible, but again, you see how it's like focusing on me and not Nicole, that was not my intention, but I was just in the zone and this was an actual client. So I wasn't too like in the camera looking at the viewfinder. I was more so like, let me get her done. Let's see how the footage looks. And then we'll play around with angles and editing, so on and so forth, which is why you see Olivia's video looks 10 times better than this. <laughs> but um, I'm getting ready to hop off of here. I'm getting ready to enjoy the rest of my day. It is Tuesday. It's nice out. I'll probably post this tomorrow just because I think I posted a video this morning. I did of heaven. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting. If you want to know which products I'm using, just be sure to link them down below. And of course, if you want more in-depth tutorials, story time, tea and all that stuff, be sure to check out my membership because I'm getting ready to drop a couple story times for y'all. But some of them, like y'all know I keep receipts. So some of them I might post on my regular channel, but the other really juicy ones, I'm probably going to keep on my membership, period. But thank you guys so much. And with that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.